Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you my six month hair inventory check-in. Halfway through the year, looking at what we've achieved so far, looking at my goals, seeing if I'm on track with them. Uh, so yeah, let's get on into it. <laughs> To recap, at the start of the year my hair inventory was worth $1,107.15 and that was made up of 65 items quantity wise. In quarter one I didn't add anything on and I didn't declutter anything. I used up one product and that one product was worth $5. So at the end of quarter one my inventory total was $1,102.15 across 64 items. So in terms of quarter two, so what's happened since the last update, first of all I have added in one product and that product is this, the ColourWow Style On Steroids Texturising Spray. So if you've seen my quarter two empties video, I will link that up in the eye. If you haven't seen it, you'll know I finished my IGK Dirty Spray. That was the only texture spray that I had in my collection. So once that was finished, I did replace it and I went for this one because I keep getting loads of adverts for it and it looked really impressive. Just to give you a sort of mini, I would say review, I think I've been using it long enough now to review it. The thing that really interested me in this was the hold aspect of it. I'm sure you'll have seen that advert where the girl like sprays it on her hair, curls it and then like brushes it out and you see it spring back. So my hair does fall very, very quickly. So that was mainly what interested me in this. And I definitely do think there is a hold aspect to this. Now I used this yesterday um, and when I woke up this morning and brushed my hair, I had to recurl it. Like this is not second day curl hair, but I have been really enjoying using my GHD curling iron again. That is this one here. So this is the GHD curve. I believe this is the classic and I think it's the smaller battle size of the classic curl. So that's what I've used to do my hair today. Basically, I've had this for a number of years now. What I find is I really like the look that this gives me. But because it is, as you guys can see, it's the same width the whole way up and down the barrel. I find that my hair tends to fall very quickly when I use this. Whereas something like my Diva Curling Wand is wider and it comes to a narrower tip. So as you're winding the hair around the bottom of the hair is actually in a tighter curl than the top half of the hair. So it doesn't fall quite as quickly. Whereas this, I find my hair falls very quickly usually. But I do have to say when I have used this ahead of curling it. I've definitely gotten longer out of the curls. By the time I went to bed last night, my hair was still looking pretty curly. Whereas usually if I'd curled my hair in the morning with this, by the time I'm going to bed, it's it's pretty much back to straight. Definitely the hold aspect has been very impressive. I found this far more effective than I've got the, um, wait, I'll grab it. I've got this from Mark Hill. It's the curl hold. So this is something that you spray on your hair ahead of curling it and it's supposed to make the curls hold better. I don't really find this makes a huge amount of difference but this definitely did. So yeah for me the hold aspect of this has been the sort of unique selling point. I got it my hair today so I think you can see it's definitely giving a bit of undone texture particularly you know up at the top. Um, so yeah overall I am very impressed with this. I do think that the the hold aspect is the USP. I don't think in terms of the texture it's giving that it's, you know, well beyond anything else I've ever used, but the hold aspect is very, very useful. So uh, definitely enjoying this and would recommend if you're interested in it. As a bit of a spoiler, I actually got the mousse, the volume bombshell thing for my birthday. So that will be in my quarter three update, which I have to say I've not been wildly impressed by it. Again, I was getting loads of adverts but that wasn't really a replacement so I didn't want to justify buying it. So I got it for my birthday but it definitely it makes a bit of a difference but not anything that any other mousse wouldn't do. So that one I've not been imp as impressed with but this one definitely would recommend. So mini review over, that is the one product that I brought in and it was a direct replacement so I'm happy with that. Then in terms of what got used up, I used up seven products and they were worth $134. So again, that's in my quarter two empties video. So it's linked up in the eye if you haven't seen it and I'll link it up in the end card for you to go catch up with it if you haven't seen it already. And then in terms of decluttering, I decluttered one product. So it was a hair mask. I will insert a picture of it because I pass it on to a friend. So I don't have it anymore to hold up and show you. This was from the Hair Burst range who make the 
the gummy vitamins that I'm sure you've all seen loads of influencers doing adverts for. So I have actually purchased those vitamins in the past and I have really enjoyed them. And Black Friday last year their offer was if you bought two or whatever you got a free hair mask. So I got the hair mask with the Black Friday offer. It wasn't something that I picked and I just found it was a little bit too heavy for my hair. It kind of weighed, as I said, my hair it is quite fine, it gets weighed down very quickly, it doesn't hold a style particularly well so anything that's kind of too heavy or whatever just makes it quite limp and greasy and that's how I felt my hair looked any time I used that mask so I did decide to declutter that. In terms of values, the starting value was $1,102.15, I added in $28 worth of product, I used up $134 worth of product and I decluttered $37 worth of product. So that means for now, end of quarter two, at the sixth month mark of the year, my hair care inventory is worth a total of $959.15. Quantity wise, at the end of quarter one we had 64 items, I've added in one, I've used up seven and I've decluttered one, which takes my new total at the end of quarter two to 57 items in my hair care inventory. Overall, I'm really pleased. Let's look at my specific goals that I had for my hair care inventory and check in with where we are for those. Categories that I have specific goals for are shampoo, masks, blow dry balms and dry conditioner slash shampoos and an overall total reduction goal. For shampoo, my opening quantity at the start of the year was seven, and my goal is to get that down to four. So I'm aiming for a total reduction of three shampoos this year. In quarter one, I didn't use any, so I still had seven at the end of quarter one. And in quarter two, I have used up two shampoos, which means that my end of quarter two total for shampoos is five, so I only need to use one more and I've hit my goal. I definitely know I will finish at least one more. I actually have three shampoos at the moment that I think they're all open, they're all being rotated through. Certainly one of them will definitely be finished within quarter three and the other two I'm rotating between but I, I think they'll probably be finished within this year so I think we'll smash the shampoo goal. I'm, I'm feeling good about that one. For hair masks my opening quantity was nine. My goal is to get that down to five so a total reduction of four aiming to use up one per quarter and in quarter two I used up one hair mask and I also decluttered one hair mask so that means actually at the end of quarter two my hair mask total is seven. Now I didn't use up any or decluttered any during the first quarter so we are staying at seven, so I've got two more to reduce that by to hit the yearly goal. That's probably a category if I, that if I'm honest I've not been putting enough emphasis onto, so we're bang on track because I've decluttered one. But yeah, I would definitely like to use up another two rather than decluttering two, so at least one per quarter, so I need to definitely keep that one a bit more in mind. Now, blow dry balms. This is the ridiculous category. It started at 13. My goal was to get that down to nine, so a total reduction of four. And the aim of using one per quarter, which should have been perfectly doable, but I didn't use up any during quarter one, and I also didn't use up any during quarter two. Now, if you're watching my project pan, you will know I have that Redken Anti-Snap Blow Dry product in my project pan. And I think if I'm going to hit this goal of reducing my blow dry balm products, that needs to come out of my project pan. I thought I would maybe manage to finish it within this year, but that's definitely not going to happen. Those of you who have seen the project pan know where we are with this, but this is, these are my marks for this year. So clearly, even using this consistently as I have been doing in the project pan, I'm not going to finish all of this by the end of the year if I've used up like this much in the first six months of the year. So I think what I'm going to do is take this out of my project pan because because I am using this, I'm not reaching for those blow dry balm products that I have so many of and I'm not going to finish this anyway in the project so I think I'll take this out of the project and I will put one of those products into my project pan. A lot of them are small that's why I've accumulated so many they're not all ones that I have bought they're generally ones that have come in beauty boxes or free gifts or whatever so a lot of them are quite small so I'm hoping if I put one in my project pan from the next update that actually I'll be able to get through at least two or three by the end of the year, fingers crossed. So I don't think I'm going to get through my four by the end of the year as the initial goal had been, but I'm nowhere near the goal at the moment. So I feel like the changes I can make are to take this out of my project pan and put some of those in and have them as a rolling product and try and use as many as I can by the end of the year. 
So I think at this point, if I can manage to use one pair quarter for the next two quarters, that's more than I've done in the first two quarters of the year. But if I could manage three, that would be a nice bonus. So fingers crossed for that. That's the plan for the blow dry bam goal trying to hit. And the last individual category that I've got a goal for is my dry shampoo slash conditioner products. Opening quantities for my goal is to reduce that to two. In quarter one, I didn't use any up and in quarter two, I didn't use any up. However, I am still feeling okay. Like I've, I've only got two to use up. I just need to hit one per quarter for the next two quarters. And I, I know in myself, I've been rotating through them all and that's kind of where my problem comes from is that I am a big rotator rather than somebody who like focuses in and finishes one but I'm going to put a goal in now that I will finish up my wipes by quarter three so in my quarter three update I will have those ones finished and then I'll finish up one of my sprays by the end of the year so I'm, I'm, st I'm putting that out there now and I'm going to stick to it and in terms of my overall goal so my opening total was 65 items and my goal is to reduce that to 50 or less. At the moment, my current total is 57. So we've definitely reduced quite a bit. So I want to reduce by like another eight items basically to get it or seven would get me to the 50, eight would get me to under the 50, which is where we'd really like to be. Now, of course, the thing with that is that it needs to be seven or ideally eight items that I wouldn't be replacing. So it needs to be from categories where I have multiple items, not the likes of finishing my texture spray and then replacing it because that's not going to change the overall total quantity that's just going to keep it even rather than keeping it going down definitely need to be trying to look at products that I wouldn't replace and try and use those up that's where the challenge is going to be but another eight items that's like a reduction of four items for the next two quarters so I've already said like at least two blow dry balms that's one per quarter right away that takes me down to three the shampoos and conditioners, I feel like I would probably replace the Philip Kingsley ones, so maybe that's a sign to, to try and concentrate on the Purology one that I have been rotating through with my Philip Kingsley one, but I definitely prefer the Philip Kingsley volumising shampoo to the Purology volumising shampoo, so that's probably the one I want to concentrate on, that and the conditioner, because I wouldn't replace them. Yeah, I just need to go through and make sure I'm identifying what I can use up that I wouldn't immediately bring back in. Hopefully we can do it. As I say, four items per quarter really is quite doable. So, fingers crossed for me. Anyway, that is everything for my six month hair care inventory check-in. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!